at the end of the day, overall survival was equivalent. And I think when we look into incorporating linvantinib into our treatment paradigm, we're going to have to look at some patient factors, uh, you know, comorbidities and things like that, their underlying liver disease, but also tumor factors. You know, there are patients where we do want a response in liver cancer, uh, even though responses historically haven't necessarily correlated with survival. Uh, there are patients whose livers, you know, have a high tumor burden and, you know, a response may be important for them versus just stable disease, which is what we mostly see with serafinib. And the two drugs are different mechanistically. Uh, we had shown some biomarker work at ESMO last year, and we'll be updating that in a few weeks uh, at ESMO in Munich, that shows that this engagement of the fibroblast growth factor access uh, does differentiate the two drugs. And, and there's been increasing work uh, about the importance of FGF family inhibitors in angiogenesis resistance, but also work we've done with others that show that FGFs, specifically FGFR4 and FGF19, its ligand, are important in driving proliferation in a subset of liver cancers. So, uh, you know, it's a very exciting time now to have a new drug, and it certainly becomes a potential backbone partner for new combinations in frontline. And, and we've seen some data at ASCO with pembrolizumab in combination with linvantinib that looks very intriguing as well.